हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सतीश पोलशेट्टीवार फ्रॉम एम आई वर्ल्ड पीस यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल ऑफ फार्मेसी पुणे इंडिया टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द टॉपिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द सर्फेक्टेंट यूज इन फार्मास्यूटिकल फील्ड यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो सर्फेक्टेंट्स आर वन ऑफ द मल्टीपर्पज केमिकल दैट फाइंड अप्लीकेशन इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी केमिकल इंडस्ट्री कॉस्मेटिक इंडस्ट्री एंड अदर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री एंड ऑल्सो इन द डोमेस्टिक लेवल वी यूज सर्फेक्टेंट so this surfactant play vital role you all of you know in the suspension emulsion in pharmaceutical field making up cream okay in order to make the stable emulsion we always need a, a good surfactant okay because surfactant are nothing but the components a compound that stabilize the mixture of oil and water by reducing the surface tension at the interface between oil and water molecule that's why surfactant play vital role in order to make a stable emulsion okay so let's begin with this topic so what you are going to learn in today's uh, session uh, learning objective is to be familiar with that various surfactant and its chemistry then we'll discuss about what is cmc that is critical missile concentration and how this critical missile concentration is very uh, important or beneficial for making any kind of uh, pharmaceutical formulation then what are different types of surfactants which are being commonly used in pharmaceutical formulations like surfactant with emulsion and other formulations then surfactant behavior in solution that is that is very very important one has to understood this uh, how the surfactant behave in the water uh, what is the impact of temperature pressure concentration of electrolytes on the particular surfactants okay that is we uh, determine by crop and cloud points is very very important that's nothing but the effect of temperature and effect of concentration at what temperature the particular uh, the, whether the phase is going to change or not uh, uh, one can decide the storage stability of any emulsion suspension okay by deciding the cloud temperature and cloud uh, this crop point then one can get the knowledge about this and uses and how to learn and uh, to measure the characterize this property and how, what information we can obtain from this uh, characterization that you are going to learn from through this session uh, we will begin with this part so first uh, very important examples first you have to learn about what is interfacial phenomena what is surface tension i also must have you must have gone through my the previous video where we, where we uh, learn about the surface tension and interfacial tension so take the example of water now you have the water sample with you okay now you have to just uh, add this soap solution in water plain water so what will happen you all of you know this surface energy is very very high at the surface free surface energy is very very high because of the surface tension this molecules okay this act as a, we call it as a lollipop because it is having two uh, phase one is called as hydrophobic phase and one is hydrophilic this is the hydrophilic and this tail is always hydrophilic hydrophobic okay means oil loving and water loving phase this is the water loving green side is called as always hydrophilic in nature and the yellow is always uh, the tail is always hydrophobic in nature okay once you put this molecule into this water what will happen this molecule will try to uh, show like this direction that is called upward direction because of high surface energy but one that is called as adsorption phenomena okay this is the first step is adsorption is going to adsorb on the surface okay because of surface tension now uh, if the if this level is get saturated then what will happen the next level is we call as this excess molecule will come into the your liquid that is water and this is this will try to aggregate themselves and form a this structure that is we call as micelles okay so what is micelles micelles nothing but the it's aggregation of all these molecules they will try to uh, pull each other and they form a this kind of aggregates that is we call as micelles okay now you must understood what is micelles okay this having uh, okay micelles is very very important okay next if this is the first phenomena that you understood what is interfacial phenomena on why this phase is occur okay now uh, look at this image now instead of water uh, sorry take the water and add just oil into that you can put any oil uh, saturated oil okay and uh, put this same surfactant so now what is what will happen this molecule okay this surfactant will occupy this oil phase like this you will you will see this kind of image this molecule will try to occupy it okay this will form a we call it a, a micelle huh? they will they will occupy occup this they will accompany all these molecules okay this we call as globules oil globules with this particles okay this is the because this this is we call as uh, oil loving phase okay this oil loving uh, called nothing but uh, nothing but hydrophobic pockets hydrophobic is going to be attached with the oil okay and this uh, hydrophilic all always hmm, in upward directions and it form a micelles okay you could see over here how this is being captured by this uh, surfactant that's why surfactants are used to solubilize this dirt and oil material how it can be removed the dirt and oil material when you apply any detergent soap on your surface okay so one one has to understood that okay how this detergent soaps acting on this okay now you could see over here how fatty molecules are going to be adsorbed on this particular surface this is the kind of phenomena okay 
because this will reduce the interfacial tension between these two phase and it will solubilize that article okay so the surfactants are nothing but the they are soap this could be ionic non ionic atonic adutorian okay this is widely used in all the industries okay uh, if you talk about the chemistry of the surfactant it has a two important phase hydrophobic and hydrophilic group okay so hydrophobic group is a surfactant usually hydrocarbon chain but it may be fluorocarbon or polymeric chain at appropriate length group are is mostly polar in nature okay polar is we all of you know huh? polar group is have high affinity towards the water molecules which contain heter atoms such as oxygen sulfur phosphorus nitrogen included functional groups such as alcohol thiol ether esters acids sulfate sulfonate phosphates amine amides may be ionic or deuterian non ionic accompanied by counter ions in the first two cases okay this is we can see how the non ionic surfactant have this both the phase ionic that mean polar and non polar head but cationic have only the cap but this positive charge okay uh, anionic have negative charge and deuterian have the deuterian ion both ions are there both called as polar and non polar ends are there okay they are amphiphilic that's why it's called as amphiphilic in nature uh, if you talk about surfactants are surfactant nothing but the uh, the substance that will stabilize the mixture of oils and water by reducing the surface tension at the interface between the oil and water phase uh this is mostly surface active agents are mostly we call as amphiphilic in nature both it having both amphiphilic both phase that's why it could uh, help to mix the both the phase okay thus the combination of these two words provides the meaning of amphiphilic with something that is friendly to both okay uh, from chemistry we find we point of view amphiphilic molecule have affinity for both polar water and non polar oils amphiphilic nature of surfactant is because of the presence of two two distinctly different polar non polar molecules in the same molecules the surfactant molecule has both hydrophilic that is water loving and oil loving as well as hydrophobic have water hating and oil loving properties okay a surfactant molecule can be presented in this following figure you could see here the tail is always having oil loving and this is lollipop is having always water loving head that is called as hydrophilic in nature so you could see here over here. just just now we discuss how micelles is going to form okay this is schematic representation of surfact molecules okay how it could form the this particular this has a two one is hydrophilic part and one is hydrophobic and this hydrophilic part hydrophilic means loving hydrophilic means hydrogen loving philic means loving phobic means hating a scaring we can say uh, what is cmc what is cmc is nothing but critical mass cell concentration okay the micelles is going to form okay at particular level if you just put on the adding the the surfactant to the water initially surface tension is very much high the surface free energy is more over here but if you go on adding the surfactant what will happen at this particular stage is going to be adsorb after adsorption then next stage would be saturated level the surfactant is going to saturate and this will like this phase okay this the particle is this particular molecule is going to be uh, come inside this liquids they try to pull they try to reduce their energy okay and at particular level it form going to form a micelle this is that we call as micelle formation okay and this is the point at which the surfactant going to form a micelle called as cmc at this temperature or concentration we could say okay at this concentration this is the concentration at which the this particular surfactant is going to form micelle this is called as a critical micelle concentration you could see here structure of micelle okay how it looks this is the outer part is always hydrophilic that is polar end and inside this is called as non polar that's why oil is getting uh, called, called oil is getting accompanied oil is getting captured inside that uh, micelle okay you can see the oil is going to capture over here that's why it gets solubilized okay you are going to make a suspect emulsion emulsion is by phase system oil and water how oil is getting solubilized in that system by adding surfactant surfactant will this means surfactant will accommodate these oils and they form a, a uniform distribution okay uniform distributed inside the that liquids that's why we, one has to understood all these things how to stabilize this emulsion suspension by adding a good surfactant you have to optimize this so micelle uh, micelles are nothing but the form when the concentration of surfactant greater than cmc then and only this uh, we call it as micelles are forms temperature of system greater than top temperature okay crop temperature is very important one has to understood it's nothing but a transition temperature okay where the non ionic surfactant is going to be uh, we call it as form of micelles okay a uh, size and shape of micelle depend on surfactant concentration because we could say we have seen there are so many size are there size some is sometime it is spherical shape sometime is uh, uh, per per perpendicular shapes okay Has, shapes also vary depending on this how much concentration of surfactant you are using and also you have to check the effect of temperature and ph because ph also vary then micelle is going to uh, change the micelle may not form at the temperature so you have to always check the effect of this temperature and ph that has been studied by these two important parameter that is crop pan and cloud pan that you are going to learn 
these are the different shapes you just now we talk sometimes cylindrical sometimes spherical sometimes vesicular in case of liposome regular system sometimes bilayer in your system is bilayer okay then reverse there are different shapes of surfactant monomers corresponding to pairs maybe this uh, different factor will affect okay packing pa parameter is also going to affect okay uh, missile formation and critical missile uh, just now we talk it's a three phase system okay uh, that is three a step process adsorption saturation and micellation at this point the cmc is going to form that's why we use tensiometer to determine the surface tension we have different techniques okay to determine the surface tension okay this is nothing but the cohesive force among the like molecules okay what is micelles uh, how the temperature and pressure effect because surfactant much less effective below crop point example detergent if you talk about that surfactant much less effective below crop point always you have to use above crop point if you want to use as a detergent you have to always find out the crop point of that particular surfactant then one and then one has to understood then one can come with come with this particular application whether the detergent is we can use it for as a surfactant or not then for non ionic surfactant increase the temperature may result in the clear solution turning cloudy due to phase separation this critical temperature is called as cloud point okay cloud point means point at which the phase inversion is taking place a temperature at which phase inversion is taking place that's why in order to store the uh, emulsion yeah, in order to understood the storage stability of the emulsion one has to understood this cloud point cloud point is transition is generally less sharp than the crop point like gt we understood gt that is glass transition temperature in polymer similarly here this is nothing but transition temperature how the crystals is going to be formed okay this is a different different at this temperature the crystal like molecular molecule is behave like this at this temperature molecule behave like this means they are nothing but the phases how this temperature and pressure is affecting on that a crop point and cloud point nothing but the if you just see uh, if you just plot the graph of crop point the temperature versus surfactant concentration you could see over here this is solubility curve of surfactant when you go on adding surfactant to any solution the, you will get solubility curve this is hydrated solids uh, at particular point you will be getting cmc that is called as critical micelle concentration this is the free molecules but this is the point at which we call as a solubility of surfactant shows strong increase above the certain temperature that was crop point okay you can see this strong because the linearly increased temperature this is the point at which the surfactant solubility is going to increase that point is called as crop point i think you must have understood solubility at crop point is called as cmc the surfactant at that temperature non ionic surfactant usually do not exhibit crop point instead of solubility of non ionic surfactant decrease with increasing temperature and this surfactant may begin to lose their surface active properties above transition temperature that referred as a cloud point okay the cloud point is nothing but a transition point okay at the point at which the temperature a uh, temperature at which the phase separation takes place you all of you know in emulsion the phase is going to separate that instability of emulsion one of the problem is because of cloud point so that's why one has to understood the cloud point of the surfactant what is the cloud point of surfactant so then we can use accordingly this occurs because above the cloud point surfactant rich phase of swollen micelle separate and transition is usually accompanied by mark increase in the dispersion turbidity you could see over here now initially it is a clear okay the above cloud this is the cloud point at which the cloudiness is you can observe okay and after that it will going to separate now you can see you could see over here the this phase surfactant is going to separate the phase separation is occur so this should not be happen so always you have to work below the cloud cloud point if you want to use a any surfactant in your emulsion always you have to use below this cloud point that's why we need to understood the cloud point one has to determine the cloud point of that surfactant okay this is the cloud this is the points you can see over here you can see phase separation above this point phase separation occur so you have to always operate below that temperature like this here is cloud point of this particular uh, uh, suspect uh, sorry surfactant is 60 degrees celsius means below 60 degree you have to operate that surfactant you cannot heat more than that got it that is the understanding of the surfactant one has to understood because see we have to make a stable sus emulsion suspension in order to understand storage capability how at what temperature you are supposed to store that particular emulsion one can understood with these two important uh, parameters okay mm, so what are different surfactant we use ionic surfactant non ionic surfactant cationic surfactant some are polymer based surfactant some are we call as uh, nothing but the advanced version that is polymer based surfactant now it is used okay so anionic is non ionic is most widely used that is we call as uh, alcohol ethoxylate non phenols yeah we call as nothing but as sls these are the we call as commonly used surfactant in pharmaceutical field because it has a, it's, it's it's not going to ionize in your fields okay it has a it is not less irritant in nature it is widely available okay uh, it could be used as a film former and so many it has so many advantages okay here uh, polymeric surfactant also nowadays used in pharmaceutical field in cosmetic industries 
I hope so. You must have understood a uh, different uh, surfactant. What is cloud paint? Cloud paint. How this uh, uh, surfactant?